Shalom, children of Israel, my name is Shalom, children of Israel, my name is Mikael Masa. Greetings to all my Bantu people outside there. We say also Salama to Tatanzambi Yamazulu, Kimbo Kimbo, to our Father, yeah, on heaven. So, um, this topic will be deep. I hope you will enjoy it. So, let us see what our sister Miriam Makaba, yeah. There are some people like uh, Lucky Duke, Miriam Makaba, even Michael Jackson. We have Muhammad Ali. We have uh, a bunch of black people that fought for our freedom, yeah, in Africa and uh, all around the world. And uh, it is very important. It is really very important to, uh, yeah, to give them honor, yeah, because these are the people that fought for us. You can see why people still today they're talking about Hitler, Napoleon. They're talking about Caesar. You can see everywhere in their cities they have churches with a lot of uh, sculptures, demons, or etc. etc. So. They never denied their kings and Asian gods like Thor or um, um, yeah, like Thor or um, how calls him Odin, etc., etc. So the same thing we had also prophets in Africa, yeah, uh, like Simon Toko, Kimbangu, Padi, yes, and many of us do not know our history, so. It's not good. My people were there. We don't write our history. It has always been handed down to us orally by our elders. Of course, the white man came, came and he writes history. So now you see. Um, it's very important if we would know uh, our really history quite... because uh, if you don't know your history, you're lost. And uh, that's why you can see why people always stay with their history they don't want to deny their history they love their history it's a part of them that makes them always to become yeah higher and cultivated yes we have done this we have done this our kings was this and this and this etc now today in this topic we want to learn more about Africa now you should know uh, the Bible we use it as a history book also. It's a history book for us. So, now, if you're hungry and you want to know more about spirituality and history and what will happen, how you can make it into the kingdom, etc., who you are, this is the right channel for you. Now, whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts now first we have to know something about the prophets um if you want to know why i know a lot of spiritual things it's because of signs because these people it's like it's written that these people uh, making signs it's like um, you could see the Asian Egyptians Asian Babylonians that's why they called uh, uh, Daniel uh, yeah Daniel he was uh, uh, prophesizing, uh, prophesizing to them many things also in the time of Abraham or Christ he or even Massa that called Moses King Solomon, all of them knew about science. Yeah, they knew about science, they knew about the stars, they knew things about the demons, they knew things about the other world. Yeah, they could see things, they could smell things, you know, they could do miracles. Yeah, so if someone wants to call himself a prophet, yeah, he has to know that this makes a part, and all of them fight or fought against the enemy this makes also a part of the prophet so um our wisdom that we take we are taking the wisdom from the most high himself 
but also we know the enemy we, the most of us can talk to the enemy if it says enemy is not a human it's the inhuman the enemy inside the human this means the demons all humans are gods okay there is a they have powers in water in wind their powers in corners in houses and cars and we have to know about these things if you're a prophet you have to fight these things you have to be careful with the nature you have to be one with it you cannot kill animals like you want you cannot sleep with your woman like you want you cannot touch everyone like you want you cannot uh, heal everyone you cannot laugh with everyone you cannot speak to everyone you cannot allow everything that's why they call us also angels they call us also angels and these angels also know a lot of things about signs and um, uh, people call us witch, witch doctors people call us witch doctors so uh, we're communicating with the most high and his angels directly um, so uh, this makes us different from other people you know? So you have a lot of bunch of people saying prophets outside there. They never fought against the the, uh, the government or never did anything for our community. But this uh, these are not prophets. So we have prophets. If we're talking about Miriam Makiba and all these people that fought for our community, people would think and these people came just for fun. But I told you, I, would, I can tell you that the most I used them. Yeah. Today we are free because of this woman. He is a Brazilian and he, is, uh, he looks white because he is an albino. But um, uh, some people approached him on four occasions and told him why does he have to play with niggas. And this was in Sweden uh, where people really often say they have no problem. And take his country Brazil. We were there last June. And people, white people in Brazil denied the fact that there were racial problems in, in uh, Brazil. But it exists, we saw it every day. Now, that's why we have here a lot, bunch of problems, yeah? If you do not uh, accept your Ngunzas, yeah? Your, uh, the, the, why the Mosai, why our forefathers turned our, their back from us? Because we could not listening to the Ngunzas, to the prophets that he sent, that they have sent at us. Today, everyone is speaking Jesus. See, Jesus, there, Yeshua, Yahushua, Allah, Hashem, Rabbi Shaya, blah, blah. People don't know about the other prophets. A lot of bunch of prophets that are today in the world that will come later, that was before Christ. No one talking about them. Jesus, see, Jesus, there. That's why the most of our people are lost because they believe too much in the white man new testament in the white man new testament and this has nothing to do with the truth nothing but a lot of people believe in too much in it because they denied the past they do not want to know about the past and they cannot understand the past because even in the past the most I was speaking to our to our forefathers um, directly, but later he has sent it Maza and even more prophets, elders. Why? Because the the, the power of the Most High was so um, so pure that the humans, because of their sins, they could not uh, yeah they could they could not. Um, uh, Take, they, they could not uh, craft, they could not uh, uh, stand against this power, they could not hear him. There was like, they, they, was, uh, they fear the Most High. So the Most High sent it always uh, prophets and people that can say, uh, they can admire, uh, say to the people what kind of things he wants to, uh, them to do. Yeah? And since today, still today, he's doing the same. But our people is not listening. They're listening to governors, to politics. They're listening to, to, to white people. They're listening to strangers. They're listening to everyone. But they don't like the prophets. If someone is outside there and you see they, he has a lot of followers, he never can be a prophet. Because he himself, Christ says, they will not follow you because if you are telling the truth about them. Because if you tell it the truth about them, if, if you tell the truth about the, the human race, 
that you will not see first of all you will not see color but the thing that you will see you will see the bad things inside the human race how easy it is yeah to um, repair this world but the human don't like it now um, let's start big deception where is that great river from Eden now here you will find a lot of rivers but it says clearly if you see here Eden yeah for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declares the Almighty he says the name the second river is Gihon it winds through the entire land of Africa now where is it it's here it's here this Gihon this Nile River went even down to the Congos and here it becomes the Great Lake the entire land of Africa now if we talk about Eden and uh, the paradise and uh, we're talking about where Adam and Eve come from where our animals come from the mother of us all the biggest continent on earth if we're talking about where uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was where Babylon was where everything where King Solomon uh, has his kingdom David and everything it's there no one can deny it so why the people are not looking they're looking to America they're looking to Brazil they're looking to Europe but no one is looking where the point is no one is looking where the problem starts no one this is that what the white man does he came to some places and changes many things so that many things many people will be confused and they will hate this particular area and the name of the second river is beyond the same is that compares the whole land of Ethiopia now Africa is the mother of us all now Haga stands for the Mount Sinai in Arabia and Karen sponsors to the present-day Jerusalem because she is in slavery with her children but Jerusalem above is free and she's our mother for it is written rejoice O barren woman who bears no children break forth and cry aloud you who have never traveled because more are the children of the desolate woman than of her who has a husband if someone hears he may hear he's talking about this Jerusalem right here and he's talking about this Jerusalem right here the true Jerusalem is free and it's not in Arabia now he says first let us check this video here this letter was addressed to me in it he enclosed a copy of the map that he intended to follow there are no maps there isn't a native village or a river recorded beyond the Kalawana region This sort of thing is constantly being peddled to greenhorns from Timbuktu to Johannesburg. You may be right. Henry said he bought the original of the map to King Solomon's mines from an Arab trader who claimed it was 400 years old. Carolina village, desert, water, white twin. King Solomon's mines. The Flying Dutchman. Captain Kidd's treasure. All right. Perhaps there is no diamond mine. But at least this map tells us where to look for Henry because he followed it. So we'll follow it. With your help. This safari is not child's play, Mr. Good, especially with a, well, shall we say, an overwrought woman. So, um, I have put this video only to show you, yeah, how the uh, white people knew where King Solomon was. From Timbuktu to Johannesburg and all those things. They knew where, they know who we are. Now, that's why we want to learn now a little more about Africa okay 
let us learn together today a little more about Africa. Again, my name is Mika Masa and uh, welcome. Uh, isn't really white, he is a Brazilian and he's. Uh, I have difficulties in many different places and not only me. Uh, I think uh, if you're black, you, you have difficulties everywhere there are white people. And most white people always say that uh, we should not generalize and so on and so forth. And in fact, there are some countries, even take Sweden. In Sweden, people say they are not, there's no racial problem there. But it is only because there are not that many black people in Sweden. So you don't really see it as clearly as you see it in countries like United States or even South Africa. But there is prejudice everywhere. For instance, in Sweden, we were performing there and my guitarist who uh, isn't really white, he is a Brazilian and he's, uh, he looks white because he is an albino. So uh, I just want to show you in how our, our people country, live. They came from Europe to invade our country. I, would, I, I, I wish our women would talk because today like the this. White man Wherever he is, whether he is in the majority or the minority, he rules. Now you don't expect people who came to invade us to write the truth about us. They will always write negative things about us. And they have to do that because they have to justify their invasion in all the countries. Now, that's why we are here. We are here uh, because we want to unite yeah, the tribes of Israel. We want to unite uh, Mother Africa. We want to bring back again the power of our ancestors to our hands. So that we can be free forever. It's our time. Okay? Now, this will be deep. I have here my first map and uh, let us start Hebrews are a race of a people with 12 large tribes it is written his proposed was indict a public stigma upon our race therefore he erected a pillar at the tower porch and he used the following inscription to be engraved upon it. Now, why? This was going on and invidious rumor was uttered abroad by men who had abandoned together to endure the Jewish race. The poor poor of their charge was that the Jews kept them away from the ordinance of the law. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed, so race, have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Here the land of the princes and the rulers had been chief in this tree pass the same deal subtly with our kindred race and evil entered our father so that they cast out their young children to the end they might not live for I could wish that myself were accused from Christ for my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came who is over all Nzambi blessed forever and on the east side toward the rising of the sun shall they of the standard of the camp of Judah pitch throughout their armies and Nashan the son of Aminadab 
shall be captain of the children of Judah. Now, only to show you that if someone comes and want to teach you, here this is a Hamite, and here this is a Shemite, or this is a Japhetian, brothers and sisters, you don't know history. A since Abraham, where from which race came Abraham came from? Ask yourself. Now, this was the first question. It was a bam to many faces outside there. From which race Abraham came from? He took the Kenyanites, he took all the Hamites with him. Then after that, listen carefully to making the pure race of them. They jumped over Isaac, Jacob, and after that, and what happens? Mixed racings. So, it's not only that. We fought and fought against enemies. And we took their women. And the same happens to us. Okay? That's why we fed. Because we took also, like King Solomon did, their customs with us. You cannot judge Mother Africa. That's why I always say, even Hamites went into slavery. Even Hamites went into slavery. And even Hamites were coming back where they, where they come from. Yeah? They were coming back where they migrated from. Now, listen carefully. Their languages were sl slightly different from one another. When they were by the house of Mika, they knew the voice of the young man, the Levite. And they turned in titter and said unto him, Who brought thee hither? And what makes thou in this place? And what hast thou here? Then say they unto him, Say now, she bullets. And he said, She bullet, for he could not frame to pronounce it right. Then they took him and slew him at the passage of Jordan, and there fell at the time of the Ephraimites. Forty and two thousands. We have different kinds of dialects and tribes in each land. We can be the same people with different customs. Some says, if you born a, 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 a son, he comes, he will follow the ways of the father. Some says he will follow the ways of the mother. Some says your father have to look for a woman for, for you. Some says you have to marry your cousin. Etc. etc. There are many customs. Many, many different things. It's not easy to understand all those things. And after a while came into him that they stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them. For thy speech betrayed thee. If these people would speak Jewish, Dutch, English, uh, so-called Hebrew, they would understand each other. No, they could not understand his Kikongo. Because he was a Bakongo. It's not easy to understand what I say, but if you are spiritual, you will. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one another, Behold, are not all these we speak in Bangala or Galileans? On the other hand, some black Hebrews spoke the language of their neighbors, such as that of Ashur, Akka, Aramaic, or Assyrian. Then say Alikiam and Shibna, and you are into Rabshak. Speak, I pray thee, into thy servant in, thy, in the Syrian language, for we understood it, 
and speak not to us in the Jews language in the ears of the people that are on the walls you see now no way days some speak Edomites linguists the rights of Latin and Greek French Spanish Portuguese German and English see John 19 and 20 listen carefully notice also that the sons of Esau Edom speak various lingos after this the Greek Europeans were dispersed abroad on account of their languages and went out by colonies everywhere and each colony took possession of the land which they lied upon and into which uh, Imana so Zambi led them so that the whole continent was filled with them both the inland and the maritime countries there were some also who passed over the sea in ships and inhabited the islands and some of those nations do still retain the denominations which were given them by their first founders but some have lost them also and some have only admitted certain changes in them that they might be the more intelligible to the inhabitants and they were the Greeks who become the authors of such mutations for when in after ages they grew potent they claimed to themselves the glory of antiquity given names to the nations that sounded well in Greek that they might be better understood about themselves and setting agree agreeable forms of government over them as if they were a people derived from themselves so this is also by Flavius okay now I hope you understand a little bit so the race which thou least thou shall be magnified having the confidence of their good descent now another precept you destroy Pharaoh with his army of chariots when that Databuya of this same Egypt was uplifted with lowest heart the hood and loud sounding tongue shedding the beams of your mercy upon the race of Israel you did overhead him with his proud army these are the first steps learning more about your heritage then you have different kind of colors so you have from dark dark black dark to albino white all this is black color and all these colors you will find it in Africa with Chinese eyes with different kind of forms okay so this is this is our skin tone so this has nothing to do with yeah he's a Hamite he's a Shemite no no we have in Angola we have so many nice women in southern Africa you can you will find white skin tones women you will find black skin tones everywhere around Africa the same in America the same in the Brazil, the same everywhere else around the world. Now, many lingos were and still are spoken in the Holy Land. Now, when they were by the house of Mika, the Ephraimit, they knew the voice of the young man, the Levite. And they turned in tighter and said unto him, Who brought thee hither? 
And what makes thou in his place? And what hast thou her? Many are deceived. The holy people naturally spoke a dozen of dialects that had nothing in common with the gobledygook Yiddish Aka Hebrew. So, the AKA Hebrew, I always say, forget it. A careful study of this uh, precept, Judge 18 and 3, reveals that the children of Dan knew by his Mutawa Levites, yeah, uh, dialect or mode of pronunciation that he was not an Ephraimite. See the uh, parallel text. Now, even the children of Manasseh, the Gileadites, had a different tongue from that of the Ephraimite, as seen herender. Only to show you how many tribes and what, how different we are. Then say they into him, say now she. Wait, I have a. Okay, it's, let's go. Um. Then say the. Into him. Say now, Shibboleth. And he said, Yes, Shibboleth. For he could not frame the pronounce it right. Then they took him and slew him at the passages of Jordan. And there fell at that time of the Ephraimites forty and two thousand. A parallel good example nowadays is portrayed by Ugandans or Rwandese. The sh sound can only be spelled by a Ugandan as an s sound in words like Sino Bora. I can't Ugandan phrases it as Sinso Bora. On the other hand, some black Hebrew spoke the language of their neighbors, such as of Ashur, Aka Aramaic or Assyrian. Then said Elikiam and Shebna and Zor into Rabneka speak. I pray thee into thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it, and speak not to us in the Jewish language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. Now, nowadays some speak Edomites linguas. Deri derivative of Latin and Greek, French, Spanish, Portuguese, German, and English. Now, notice also that the sons of Esau, Edom, speak various linguas. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? <laughs> 